Hello everybody, my name is Virus Literable, and I am back to bring you another video. Today, I'm bringing you a little mini-series, which will only consist of one video. Today, we will be looking at Windows NT 3.1 builds 404 and 438. Now this, right off the bat, it looks a tad bit different. It doesn't look too different. This is pretty much the first 32-bit operating system made by Microsoft. As you can see, we have the NTSF partition that we finally see, actually. I think this is the first time we ever see the NTSF partition here. So that's a really major actual update to this. So this is pretty cool. So I'm going to tell you guys about Build 404. Build 404 was the official beta from March 1993. Other than that, there's nothing else we know. There is not much information known about these builds really. So I have very, very limited information about Windows NT 3.1. However, we still do have a relative understanding of it. We do know a little bit about it, which is still pretty cool. So we have all of our network adapter kind of things, our setup stuff. Setup looks a little bit more different, has a little bit more features. There were two versions of Windows NT that were made. There was one NT Workstation and Advanced Server Edition. They were both released on July 26, 1993. The Workstation version would cost 495 US dollars and the Server Edition would cost 1495 US dollars. And to top it all off, the Windows NT 3.1 sold about 300,000 copies in its first year. Microsoft was banking that year. <laughs> it's it's amazing. Now, a little backstory about this about the this video a little bit more. I wasn't originally going to make a Windows NT video. There was a lot of reasons. One of them was that I could not get them installed on either VirtualBox or PSM. Another reason was that the two beta builds were the, basically the complete, almost the complete products of Windows NT 3.1. So I didn't want to have to post out another video telling you guys, oh, hey guys, Windows NT retail and have it be like three minutes long or five minutes long or anything. No, those weren't really major updates. It's literally just the retail version and it's a tad bit cleaner and more complete, but that's about it. Nothing really else new. However, I did solve my problem with installation, as you can see right here. I would like to give a very big shout out to Tech406 for his video on how to install Windows NT 3.1. Without his video, I would not be able to give you guys this video. So shout out, links in the description, check them out. Now we got a new splash, this is a new screen that we haven't seen before. It says right smack in the middle, it says Windows NT 3.1 beta release for uh, beta March 1993 so that's cool and it's buggy so as you guys saw I tried to run an application but uh, no Windows NT beta had to crash so sad now the code name for this series of op for this uh, operating system is NT OS 2 now that's because Microsoft and IBM actually work together on this they actually work together on this operating system, which is pretty cool. Windows NT, and I also, and here's the reason why I made this video. Another, I, I, I completely strayed off that topic. The reason I made this video was because I found out how to make this, and also because this is actually a very important piece of Microsoft history. Why? This is the first 32-bit operating system that Microsoft had developed. The very first one. And it is literally the roots of the future NT lines. The NT line, which consists of Windows 3.1 NT here, all the way to now of Windows 10. So this is a very big deal. There's a big reason why I had to make this, because I had to show you guys at least something of this operating system. Anyways, getting that off my chest. So. This was primarily for businesses, as obviously, as you guys can see from all these little well, control panel having a lot more options than in 
Now, there was a big problem with this operating. There was a very big problem with this 32-bit operating system. What was it? Well, it was very resource intensive. It demanded a lot of system require a lot more system requirements than 3.1 and 3.0. And the average consumer did not have that hardware right now, so they couldn't even use this operating system if they even bought it because they had a lot more system requirements than what 3.1 needed. Let me tell you what the system requirements were. Well, the minimum, this is the bare minimum. This is the minimum to run this. There were, you needed a, a 25 megahertz processor that was an 8386 processor, 12 megabytes of, of RAM, 75 megabytes of hard drive space, and a VGA graphics card. <laughs> this was something, this is not very, this is basically, it needed a very high-end computer at the time to run this, this, this operating system. To give you guys an idea of how resource intensive this is, let's see what the system requirements for Windows 3.0 were. There were, you needed an 80, 86, or 80, 88 processor or better to run it, 2 megabytes of memory, and a 7, a 7 megabyte hard drive of hard drive space and almost any graphics card and a compatible monitor and you were golden so to put it in perspective from those times this was a very resource intensive operating system this wasn't your consumer it was it was it was for businesses i understand that we're going to be taking off from 404 build and we're going to be going right in to 43 to 438 basically the build number there was a little a little bug with the with this beta build um although this build was made in april it still has the splash screen of it being march 1993 so you guys will see what i mean and i didn't make any mistake because i double checked it i double it i double checked it because i was certain that i installed 404 again but I didn't, and after looking at the at the operating system a little bit more, I realized that it was 40, 438 because there were some new things in it. So yeah, that's Windows NT. That's literally all I have on Windows NT. I can't really tell you, I can't really go more in depth than that. There's not much known about Windows NT. Pretty much this... This was pretty much the same, really. So, <laughs> it's it's amazing how how much system requirements this needed. It was it was cool. It's it's pretty cool about about this, and it was moderately su successful. I'll tell you that it was moderately successful. So it's not like it was a flop. It was pretty successful, as you guys saw, three hundred thousand copies in its first year, and it costing such an exorbitant amount of money. It was amazing. That's what impressed me a lot about this operating system. And the NT operating system, the NT based operating systems would pretty much be stuck only to businesses and servers for most of the time until Windows XP. That's when we first saw the business and a consumer version of both of them. So, you know maybe it's a little me hinting at some future videos about that stay tuned so same thing we have to make an administrator account i didn't want the password to be too elaborate really i wanted it to stay moderately the same so there's that because <laughs> i don't because if i because if this had to crash or anything i didn't want to really have a very long password to type in and out and i had to do a lot more cutting you can see it says March 1993. Well, I swear, I swear to you, this is not the March 1993 release. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, it says April beta right there. That says April beta 1993. So I am not crazy. Looking at that, I was not crazy. I'm like, why is it still telling me it's the March beta? See, it says March, but in the previous screen, it said April. I don't know. Microsoft, would you care to explain, please? I don't know. <laughs> well, it looks pretty relatively the same. 
Uh, I don't see any. I th no, Schedule Plus wasn't there. I don't remember Schedule Plus being there. This is new. I know that's new because I didn't see that there. There's a couple of new things. You got the desktop thing right there. I don't know. I'm looking at the color palette because I didn't see it. There's the color palette. There's um the desktop um option there. I remember seeing server, so I can't really say server wasn't there. This is a new thing right here. That's why I'm telling you this is new. This is why I know it's new. It still tells us it's March beta since 1993. Why, I don't know. I deleted the previous virtual machine, and I installed this, so I have no idea. I have no idea why it's telling me it's still the March 1993, because I know this isn't March 1993. Anyways, relatively everything else looks the same. Just a couple of minor tweaks is what I'm looking at. Yeah, I don't remember seeing right and, and that thing called object, whatever. I don't remember seeing that in the last build. Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know. <laughs> if I if, correct any mistakes I make in these videos, please, guys. It helps me. It helps me. And it helps me interact with you guys a little bit more. <laughs> so, yeah, it basically Windows 3.1, except it's for businesses and rightfully so. It looks a little bit more different. It's not much. I don't know why they have games. I, I question, why do you have games? Oh, this is uh, the backup. So they would have for like backup tape drives. I didn't see this one in the last build. Yeah, I don't I don't remember seeing it. But anyways, that's pretty... Oh, Event Viewer. I never saw Event Viewer 2. And I didn't click on the process monitor either on the last one. I'm sorry, guys. But anyways, I think that'll have to be it. I think that's going to wrap up this video. There's not much else I can really tell you guys. So this is my mini series on Windows NT 3.1. I won't be showing you guys the other ones because this is such, it's pretty much the beta. It's pretty much the, almost the, it's almost the release candidate. I would classify it as a release candidate, but it's beta. But anyway, that was it on my Windows NT 3.1 series. I'm currently working on Chicago and you guys should be seeing the preview video on Friday is when you guys are going to see the preview video and on Monday you'll see on the next Monday you'll see the first video of Windows Chicago so please stay tuned for that I have a Twitter I have a Twitter so check out my Twitter and I'll keep I'll keep you guys posted follow me on Twitter I'll keep you guys posted on any happenings that are going on so anyways thank you guys so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe and check out tech 406 in the description virus alertable signing off